So there's two phases. There's the initial um, process of us doing the audit and also doing a market research. That's the first phase. And then the second is once you become a client, how do we work together moving forward? Before you're a client, you know, generally I come in, um, we do our first meeting, we get to know each other, the goals. Then I go ahead and I do an audit of the payroll. I look at the benefits, the invoices, the plan designs. Um, I look at the contribution strategy. I look at the salaries of the employees in the industry. Are they remote in multiple states? Are they all in one place? Are these benefits on par to everybody else in their industry? Are they having issues hiring? Do they want to not hire? Like what, what do they really want to get? Once I figure that piece out, then my next thing is to prepare their profile and shop it out to different PEOs. That makes sense. We have partnerships with over what? 16 different PEOs here in the U S and we have several that we work with overseas that are global. So we have that. I also am connected through, you know, different partnerships with over 120 plus carriers to offer medical, dental, vision, life, critical illness, everything that you would get if you worked at Apple or Google. Um, so whether they decide to go on the PEO or not, I'm able to basically craft the exact same solution. It's just what resources do they actually have in place that makes sense? There's times where we might save somebody coming off of a PEO 400 grand. We hire two people in place and they save 200 grand, right? Because we're putting people in place that they didn't have before, but we're supplementing it with the money that we save. Um, after we figure out the right solution, then the next piece is implementing it, whether that be the PEO or whether that be my service where you know, not only do I become your broker of record, but I also become your advisor. I also become your, um, I become your advisor. I become your point person for, Hey, I, I have questions on my claims. I have questions on our renewal, you know, and I also have a service team of five people that we work with. And, um, and that team's whole job is just to work with the clients on, Hey, an employee, they, they found out they got cancer. And they're looking for what treatment plans make the most sense. You know, this, this is the recommended path the doctor gave them. Is it covered under the plan or not? Our team will actually figure that out for people. So when it comes to the service aspect, we take that pretty seriously. We don't like to just bring people on and then just, you know, hey, you're on our book and we're just making money in the background. We want to make sure that they're taken care of and they know how to use the plans and they know how to use it to their benefit. Because otherwise, like, why, why do what we do? Um, yeah. And then after that, look, Hey, you know, we decide each year, does it make sense for us to still work together? I have some clients that have gone from like 50 employees to 5,000 overnight. And there is a crossover where I say to myself, Hey, you know what? You guys are at like 3000 employees now or 2000 employees. I would love to keep you. It makes a ton of sense, but I want to promote you to, I'm going to call some of the people up at some of the larger um, insurance brokerages and see how they can help you. And then I'll personally like walk them to, um, you know, the insurance brokers, I think can make the most sense for their group. Cause if it's not us, I want to help them find out exactly like who to go to because they think insurance and I want them to think of Steve. I don't want them thinking about it too hard. I'm going to figure out what's best for them.